G'day all. Here's the Retro SE02 steam plant from Engine DIY Shop. I'm finally going to get a chance to steam it up. I have had a test fire of the burner just to make sure and to test how it works. It's the first time I've ever used one that's constructed like this with the stainless steel wicks and spirit fire. But uh, look, let's put some water in the boiler for the first time. I've got a beaker. I've filled it up with 150 mils. Looking at the beaker to the size of the boiler, I don't know if it's going to take that much, but let's have a go. Okay, that funnel's a bit too big. Let's try a, a Willesco. Yeah, well, let's go funnel works perfect. So 150 mils. Just pull the whistle down, to let that water go in. Just turn that around. I just I put that chain on the whistle. It's a brass brass chain. Put that on the whistle the other day. But uh, okay, so we've got a little bit of water in the boiler. And so that's about 90 mils so far. I think 100 mils is going to be about right. Okay. All right, so that's 100 mils on the knocker. I reckon that's... Okay, the boiler's a little bit smaller than what I thought. So it's 100 mils. Put the safety valve back on. Okay, I have had a test fire of the spirit burner just to familiarize myself with how it actually works and it worked good. So we'll just put, put a bit of metho in here. Alright, put the, the wicks in, stainless steel wicks, put a few drops, this table's rocking a little bit because it's on a lazy season, so it spins around, alright, so we'll light the spirit burner. Yep, that's a light. Pop that in place. And uh, we'll wait for that to come up to boil. Uh, it's very nice. It's got a reversing lever, which um, when I've run it on air, it works very well. Interesting sight glass, the way the sight glass is built into the boiler. This lamp post is just beautiful. It's, it's all, that's all solid. The base is all solid brass. And uh, the lamp post itself is brass. It's got the wiring going up through it. Very nice little generator there. I'll just give you a bit of a close up on that. It's an awesome generator. And there's a, there's a close up of the lamp. And uh, the whistle, it's a nice big whistle. I've only run it on the air, but it did sound well. And um, we've got these little bleeding valves here so you don't get a, a lock in the steam chest when the water condenses when it hits it into when it hits into there. A little bit tongue tied there. But uh, there's a bit of flame, you can see a little bit of flame in there through the gap there. They're a light. But uh, alright, I'll come back when that is coming up the steam and we'll see how the SEO2 uh, runs on steam for the first time. Okay, the boilers come up to steam. Try that whistle.
we will open up these steam chest valves. I will just put a bit of um, steam oil in this lubricator. see how we go. Turn the steam on. Oh, that's hot. Get a rag for that. Turn that. Close them off. There she goes, running on steam for the very first time. Reverse. Put the light on. You can instantly feel that Jenny working out. Turn the light off. She's picking up speed. Uh, I think I know what's happened. And just turn that steam off. Yeah, we're out of out of spirits. I was a bit overly cautious with um, putting spirits in because I didn't want to. As I don't know this engine very well or its capacity is the boiler capacity. I didn't want to uh, put too much metho in the burner. And I didn't want to risk um, the boiler running dry with too much. Gee, that's hot. I'm burning myself relentlessly here. Okay, just put a few drops on there. So that's why it's that's why she's run out of puff there. So we'll just that's refilled. Put that in. I don't cut things like this out of my videos. I like to put the videos up um, warts and all. I think it's a lot more realistic for people watching videos. Just clean that up. And that should, it should come up to steam pretty rapidly. Yeah, it's getting there already. I'll just give that a minute. Uh, Keep you all occupied, I'll give you another round the world face up of it. I must say it's 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 a quite pretty engine. All the colours work well, very well with it. Let's turn that steam back on. Shouldn't get a lock in the steam chest. Everything should be warm enough, and let's. Right, there we go. So we'll turn that light on. Yep, you can hear that Jenny working. Definitely hear that Jenny working. Kick start speed. Put the light back on. So Jenny is definitely working. So beautiful looking Jenny. Just put it in forward. Didn't work that time. Is 
that's forward. Flick it over to reverse. Can't do that. That's running really nice. It's got a nice sound to it. No leaks that I can see. That's, that's not a bad feature, having these two uh, steam chest valves. With a 100mm with a boiler, you would have to keep your eyes on that uh, water side glass. You wouldn't want to uh, run it dry. So that's one thing, you would, it would be a good good advice really to um, time your runs and keep an eye on that side glass so there's no danger of running that boiler dry. I'll have to do a bit of more experiments and uh, fill that mytho burner up and just see if it's timed to uh, empty itself at close to say 85, 90 mils so there's a little bit of water left in that boiler. But uh, it's a very, very nice engine. I'm gonna, I'll take the burner out. I'll blow that out. Put that over on the glass. Turn the steam off. And uh, one last rotation on the Lazy Susan. And this is the nice plant from engine DIY shop the SE02 and uh, as always thanks for watching much appreciated stay safe a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all all the very very best and as always bye